Good evening, Advent, and welcome to Vespers. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, here in the presence of Almighty God, let us confess our sins that we may obtain forgiveness by God's infinite goodness and mercy. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. This evening's reading is from the prayer of Azariah. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Bless the Lord, sun and moon. Bless the Lord, stars of heaven. Bless the Lord, all rain and dew. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Bless the Lord, you whales and all that swim in the waters. Bless the Lord, all birds of the air. Bless the Lord, all wild animals and cattle. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Bless the Lord, all people on earth. Bless the Lord, you servants of the Lord. Bless the Lord, you who are holy and humble in heart. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. While Protestant Christianity recognizes the Apocrypha, or as it is also referred to, the intertestamental writings, it does not place it on a par with what we know as the Old and New Testaments. That being said, the writings in the Apocrypha are rich and faithful and certainly worthy of your attention. This evening's reading and meditation are taken from the prayer of Azariah, who is otherwise known by his Babylonian name, Abednego. And that should give you an important clue as to the context of this reading. It is a small portion of the prayer of the three young men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, while they were in the fiery furnace. In spite of the rage of King Nebuchadnezzar, the three young men sing. They bless the Lord repeatedly, and they include every creature and season in their prayer of praise and thanksgiving. The church uses the larger portions of this prayer in the Easter Vigil liturgy, and that may be where you have heard those things before. And it is significant this prayer for several reasons. It is significant that praise emerges in the midst of death. Significant that the three young men are not dissuaded from worshiping or refusing to worship the golden statue of Nebuchadnezzar. Significant in the powerful reminder that in just the last century, over six million Jews met a fiery furnace end at the hands of Nazi Germany, and that by all outward appearances that looked as if it was a triumph, but no, because praise and blessing are not contingent upon having what we would call a happy ending. They are the result of a faith that makes God's servants triumphant even when death appears to win. And there is something that is delightfully subversive at work here. Think about it, if you would. While we may remember the heinous crimes of Nazi Germany, and we surely do, and we ought never to forget them, especially in this present age where white supremacy has been given permission to become public, the six million Jews who perished in the Holocaust will always represent a larger and a more expansive witness of triumph over evil. And so we honor them 
with our prayerful commitment to speak against the forces that would have us all be silent and complicit. And we bless the Lord with them, praising and magnifying God forever. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way, kindle our hearts and awaken hope, that we may know you as you are revealed in scripture and the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty and merciful God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep us this night and forevermore. Amen. Good night, Advent.